Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo on the 2022 Audi Q3 and its 15 speaker Sonos audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments, controls, speaker locations, then we're going to head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. If you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video, we've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you're tired of hearing the same songs week in and week out, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. There you can hear member requested tracks. I think I'm going to record a members only sound test here just for a little bit in this car because it's kind of unique and uh, fun. So if you want to hear those and request your own tracks, sign up to become a member. Before we get started, pop out and take a look at it. I actually kind of like this Q3. At first I was like, eh, it's fairly generic. Also, quick side note, we live right by historic Willow Run Airport, and there is an air show going on this weekend, so there might be some really loud jets going by. But either way, the Q3, kind of a squished and elongated A3, but it's honestly been a really good car to kind of have around for the week. It makes driving really easy and straightforward, and it's got some nice tech. So if you do want to see more on the Q3, check the links in the description. We've got a real-world fuel economy test, a DM test drive, and a new infotainment test that's actually going to be shot by Chris. Now we always do this test with lossless uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. I recommend wearing headphones so that you can hear exactly what I hear. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default, so let's take a look at those now. Pretty straightforward Audi touchscreen here. Overall, I'm a pretty big fan of Audi's touchscreen system. Now, I do prefer systems with rotary knobs as a secondary adjustment, but this is a decent touchscreen. It's nice proximity to the driver. It's got nice clicks. The one thing I don't like is when you're moving, it does lock you out of a good amount of menus. So that's a bit frustrating. But we're in the media screen here. Let's go up to the top to get to... Actually, that's not the best way to get to sound settings. Rather, right there. You got adjustments for treble, bass, and subwoofer. Let's go through those. I quite prefer the system with the subwoofer adjustment about halfway up like that toward max. It just makes the system sound more powerful and full. I think it's a bit lacking on the, the base setting right there. Other than that, you've got adjustments for front, rear, left, right, fader, fader and balance. And you can focus on either the front or rear seats there. And then you have adjustments for surround level and panorama. Now, I don't 100% know what panorama is. I'm assuming that's similar to the Bowers and Wilkins, or rather, sorry, the Bang and Olufsen 3D effect. So even though you think panorama is going for a width, I think it's actually going for a height adjustment. You can sort of hear that when you go from off to high, but I'm gonna let the song pick up some more and then I'll go through the surround panorama settings. Other than that, you just have speed dependent volume control adjustments. I would like to see some adjustment for mid-range. In fact, being a luxury vehicle and sound system like this, I'd like to see a five or nine band equalizer, but at least you do have something. So let's go through these surround levels and panorama now. The more you add this panorama and the surround level, the more artificial the music's gonna sound. And this is one of the systems where I quite prefer everything off. Certain songs I'll turn panorama on low, but mostly I prefer the more raw, true to recording sound experience. For audio adjustments here in the Q3, you've got a nice volume knob on the steering wheel. I love having a scroller on the wheel. I think that's the best way to do it. Then you've got a volume knob way down here on the far right. It's a little far away from the driver and I've actually grabbed this fan control a few times thinking that was the volume knob just kind of on habit. But at least it's close to the passenger and you've got a scroller on the wheel. 
for track selection, you can either move the volume knob back and forth. I, I kind of like that. You can use the touch screen if you're on the proper menu. And you can use right and left right by the volume knob there. I think it's one of the best setups for track selection and volume in any vehicle. Quick side note, I should also point out with the sound settings, I don't exactly know what Audi and Sonos consider to be stock EQ and uh, bass settings when it comes to surround level and panorama. So I'm gonna have them off to start with and then maybe I'll turn them on as we're on the road. For audio inputs in the new Q3, you've got your standard, oh, it's gonna go right to radio. I'm gonna turn that down real quick. You got your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM, satellite radio, USB-C, Bluetooth, wireless and wired, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support, which quick side note, if you wanna see how those work, check out our infotainment review. And I think that is about it. Do we have any streaming sources? Let's see. No, I don't, it does say streaming services over there, but it just says the selected system's currently, uh, currently unavailable. So I don't know if that's because it's not being paid for or it's not installed or what. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack and no USB type A port. So make sure you have your adapters. But other than that, pretty much everything you'd want here in 2022. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a 15 speaker system, just like the Bang & Olufsen before it. So starting in the bottom left, you've got kind of a door woofer-ish type speaker there. Tweeter, mid-range, surround there, three, four, five in the center, six, or seven, eight, coming into the back, we have nine, 10, 11, 12, this open in the D pillars. Oh, it's gonna be hard to see, but you've got 13, 14 in the D pillars, and then a big subwoofer right there in the spare, making 15. All right, like I said, if you wanna see Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, check out the infotainment review. But let's get this stuff put away and get out on the road.
sounds from the system are tight. Everything feels very uh, well placed and well balanced. What's missing is the power and the impressiveness. There's not really any of it there. Like I said, when you turn the subwoofer up, it does help with a lot of the songs. It adds a little bit more uh, drive and, and pizzazz to most of your music. But other than that, it's it's missing a, that, that extra special aspect. Like I said, everything sounds good and there's a decent amount of adjustability, but I think there are going to be people wanting more. Speaking of more, for this next track, we'll turn the bass and subwoofer all the way up and see how it sounds. to uh, Chill Shop. Yeah, that was it. I want to hear what happens. That, that did not sound good. speaker sono system here in the Audi Q3 and that was not a very impressive stress test I expected a lot more from the system and I didn't really notice it fall on its face until really trying it out here and listening to music throughout this week I've been like oh, okay it's, it's pretty solid it's pretty tight like I said pretty crisp but I can't in good conscience give an A rating to a system that falls on its face like that there, I, I, 
for fifty thousand dollars in a luxury vehicle like this especially one that had bang and olsen beforehand and a lot of people raved about it I, this is a disappointment it's coming in at a b it's definitely a b plus it's it's a strong b but again eh, that that sound quality is not consistent enough and not powerful enough to justify an a rating an a tier system sounds better than this so thank you all so much for watching if you do want to see more on the Q3, check the links in the description, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie with Daily Motor, and as always...